Everyone's made chicken wings at home before. And what happens? The skin's never crispy. It's not good. Why? Because you're not frying them. That's what they do in restaurants. That's why they're delicious. I'm gonna teach you how to do it at home. It's not scary. It's just a little oil, a little heat, and it is worth the trouble. And we're gonna make three different styles of wings. Number one, obviously traditional buffalo style, which is original, delicious, and it's gonna have butter, Frank's Red Hot, a little salt, very simple, but it's delicious. Number two, we're gonna make a karagi style Japanese fried chicken with the wings. And it's gonna be served with a yuzu mayo, which is nice and tart and creamy, off the charts. And of course, because I'm Peruvian, we have to make a Peruvian version. So we're gonna do a hipanka marinade and serve it with a rocoto salsa that's to die for. It's spicy, it's limey, perfection. So let's try it out. All right, let's start with the wing. The small part here is the tip, this part is the flat, and this is the drum. We're gonna get rid of the tip first. Use these wings to make a stock or maybe make a soup for your dog or something. Next, cut the skin that connects the wing in the middle and bend it to expose that joint. Cut through the joint and now you have the flat and the drum separately. Do this with all the chicken wings you're using. We're gonna keep it pretty simple for these. Season your wings with salt and pepper on both sides and let them come to room temperature so that they fry evenly once we start them. Now, for the sauce, add a quarter cup of unsalted butter to a pan and melt it on medium heat. Add a teaspoon of garlic paste and mix it in. Add a half a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce and to balance out the vinegar in the hot sauce, add some honey. Mix and set aside so we can use it for the coating later. Okay, now on to the blue cheese dip. I'm adding half a cup of Greek yogurt here, but feel free to use sour cream. Add two tablespoons of Japanese mayo, half a cup of blue cheese crumbles, one tablespoon of white vinegar, a teaspoon of garlic paste, the juice of one lemon, and don't mind the seeds, those are for me for my fiber intake. Leave me alone. Mix it really well and make sure there are no gigantic pieces of cheese floating around in there. Add salt and pepper to taste and then place this in the fridge to cool for a little while. All right, time to fry the chicken. Drop these bad boys in oil that's at around 350 degrees Fahrenheit and cook them for about 10 minutes. Do it slowly so you don't burn yourself. Check on them to make sure they're cooking evenly on all sides. Remove them from the oil and let them rest on a cooling rack for two minutes. Once that's done, add the wings back in for two minutes to get the skin super, super crispy. Get them out, toss them in a bowl, and coat them with buffalo sauce. This is your chance to toss like you work in a restaurant. Once you're done playing with all that, serve them with the blue cheese dip and you're done. Now, for the karage chicken, add a pinch of salt, a teaspoon of garlic paste, Get some grated ginger and squeeze about a teaspoon of juice out of it. That way, we get the flavor of the ginger and avoid burning pieces of it in the oil. Add a teaspoon of mirin, which is a sweet rice cooking wine, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons of sake of your choice, and one teaspoon of yuzu. You can find yuzu at most Japanese markets. If you can't, mix some lemon juice with lime juice and use the same amount. Once it's all in there, let this marinate for about 20 minutes. These wings are going to have a light coating for crispiness, and for that we'll be using potato starch. You can also use cornstarch, that will work just fine. So coat these on both sides and place them aside to rest. This rest period will allow the potato starch to absorb all the marinade we're using. For the dip, we're going to make some yuzu mayo. Add one cup of Japanese mayo to a bowl, one tablespoon of yuzu, half a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and a few sprinkles of togarashi which is just a Japanese spice powder that adds color and mark flavor. Lastly, some salt and pepper to taste. Mix it really well and set aside. If you have some of this left over, you can use it in a sandwich or a chicken salad, or rub it on your chest, whatever you're into. Okay, now that the wings have rested, you can see that they've absorbed all the marinade. We're gonna fry these three times with rest periods in between. This is gonna help cook the wings without burning the starch. Place them in the oil and cook for two minutes. Pull them bad boys out, rest for 30 seconds, pop lock and drop them back in for two minutes, and then pull them back out and rest for another 30 seconds. Finally, fry them one last time for two minutes and pull them back out. See how bomb they look? Okay, last but not least, we're gonna make the marinade slash sauce for the Peruvian style wings. So to a pan, add a quarter cup of unsalted butter, then add two tablespoons of hipanga paste and a tablespoon of garlic paste. Start mixing it really well. 
Now, add a half a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of oregano. Then add some salt because you gotta season your shit and some black pepper. What we wanna do here is caramelize the pepper paste and garlic paste to bring out that smoky flavor out of it. Now with this sauce, we can marinate the wings. Add pepper, salt, cumin, and some of that sauce we just made. Let this rest for about 20 minutes. For the rocoto salsa, cut up some green onions, use about a quarter cup of that, and a quarter of a red onion. Make sure you dice these very small so that we don't get large chunks of onion in the salsa. Cut one rocoto into pieces, avoiding the seeds because those will burn. Add the rocoto to a blender with two tablespoons of water and blend until there are no visible chunks. Add the mixture to a bowl and then add the juice of two limes, which is about two ounces, the diced green onions and the red onions, and lastly, salt and pepper to taste. Put that in the fridge so it can cool and that will create that cool and hot balance with the wings. The frying process for these are exactly like the buffalo wings. Fry the wings for about 10 minutes, rest on a cooling rack for two minutes, and add them back in for two more minutes for that last crisp. Place them in a bowl and add some of that sauce we made. Toss and serve with the rocoto salsa. And there you have it. Now you know how to make three different styles of wings, guys. Make this for your Super Bowl party or any event you're hosting, and show your friends that you're the wing king.